in preparing to depart, we as a faith community have heard the word and are called to respond and serve. There are many ways to serve our neighbors and this faith community during this time of pandemic and unrest. Watch your email, church website, and Facebook for updates concerning our faith community and how we will organize to help those in need during this time. Beginning next Sunday, we will return to in-person worship for both services and continue our worship online. Reverend Emily has more details to share at this time. First of all, we want to thank the Reopening Task Force, the Church Council, the Board of Deacons, and our church staff for their continued work on this plan for a safe return to in-person worship beginning next Sunday. Without their help, um, we would, they have been tremendous in helping us uh, with this um, safe return to worship. It is a time of great celebration after many long months apart. And we know that some of you cannot wait to return to this sanctuary space next Sunday. Some of you may be feeling a little bit more uneasy about doing so. Well, please know that we will follow the recommended CDC and State of Ohio guidelines to make this return as safe as possible. If you are uncertain about returning at this time, please know that our, uh, the, our live stream ministry will allow you to participate in worship via Facebook Live and YouTube channel. When you return next week, and if you are fully vaccinated, masking, wearing a mask will be optional. You may opt to wear a mask if you so choose. If you are not fully vaccinated, we are going to ask that you continue to wear a mask until further notice. There will be masks at each entrance if you forget yours. We welcome all of God's children to worship, and we know that some in our community of faith, those under the age of 12 or those who are immunocompromised, may also want to come and be in this space and worship together. So it's important that we all take the steps that we need as a community of faith to keep them as safe as possible. Those from the Board of Deacons will be here to welcome you as you arrive next Sunday. Next week, we will maintain social distancing. Every other pew in the sanctuary will be reserved and will have a, a marking indicating to leave that pew empty. We ask that you honor that request. Next week, we will sing and give joyful song and praise to God. Next week, we will celebrate the sacrament of communion at both worship services. We ask that you're coming for the 9 a.m. worship service. You enter the education wing door and come into the sanctuary. And at the 11 o'clock service, you may enter through the West Lot or Broad Street doors or the education wing. The elevator will be open for both services. As we return to the house of the Lord for worship, may our spirits be gladdened by the opportunity to sing songs of praise and thanksgiving and give glory to God for that new day. Watch this week for more information as a reminder of how we can safely return to in-person worship next week. We look forward to welcoming you. <laughs> 